Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, so this is your house? <laughs> no, 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 not my house, our house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sis, look, I have always known that you were going to make it alive. And you were not going to forget about us. Yes, baby. So yeah. finally, we have a good house to call our own. <laughs> Enough space to play around. <laughs> you girls don't know how happy I am that we are going to be staying together. I mean, I've missed you girls so much. <laughs> okay, so now that is done, what did you cook? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing? Mm -hmm. You're kidding, right? No. I want it to be like old times. We cook together. You know what I mean? It's not in this way. Don't get very tired. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The earlier you girls pack your bags inside, the sooner the food will be ready. Yes. That elder sister touch can be felt in this food. I agree with you. Especially the ingredient called love. Which is the most important <laughs> ingredient. I love you, sister. Mm -hmm. I love you both. It's just us girls. We do not have parents. So we need to be there for each other. Stay united and not break. Of course, I mean, with you by our side, we'll definitely be fine. And to those our uncle in the village who were waiting for us to go our separate ways, <laughs> they will die in disappointment. They will. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Indeed, I love you both so much. We we'll love you. And we love you too. <laughs> okay, okay. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> They make me wonder, hey, this kind of love, this kind of love, it will last forever. I love you, I love you, not some data. Hey, this kind of love for oh, a serious love, I want to be. Girl, I am so excited. Hmm, and I thought I'm the actress. Someone is in a good mood, of course. and she's even singing a love song. <laughs> Amanda, what's going on? Um, is Elena back? No, it's just me. Okay, good. So, look, there's this guy I've been seeing for about a week now. Chelsea, you need to see this guy. He is so handsome. I mean, he is amazing. Very cute. I mean, I don't know the right words to describe him. And. He loves me. Wow. Yes. I mean, he is crazy about me. And guess what? 
Tell me. I am crazy about him too. I mean, he is everything I want in a man. And you're just telling me. <laughs> you know, I've been seeing this glow in your face lately. But I thought it was because of your boutique opening. Oh. And maybe the fact that you just started your own business. Now it turns out to be a man. Of course. I mean, <laughs> your sister is in love. <laughs> Elena needs to hear this. <laughs> no, no, not yet. No. Why? I feel, she, she may feel bad and jealous. Elena is our sister. Why would she feel bad or jealous of you? Chelsea, why are you being naive? Has Elena ever introduced any man to us before? No. That is because she's all alone. I mean, all she does is hustle to give us the best life. And that has denied her the opportunity to, to leave, to find love. Look, I, I don't want to flaunt my relationship in her face because I know she would feel bad. Even if she doesn't show it, I know it. Okay, but I don't agree with you on this. But don't worry, I'll keep this for you. Right? <laughs> but mm -hmm. you can't keep it as a secret forever. I know. So you need to find them to tell her as soon as possible. Okay. Till then. <laughs> Girl, I can be the guy. Girl, I am so crazy about him. <laughs> I know you want to come to my place, but not now. I do not want to introduce you to my sisters yet. I need them to focus on pursuing what they want. Bringing you home now will make them feel they too need men in their lives. So you're not proud of me? You're not proud of the man in your life? I'm tired of coming to this place to look for you. It's not even my place. So you don't want to introduce me to your family? I am proud of you, my prince. You know I'm like the mother they have now. So I need to trade with caution so I don't send the wrong signal. Please, you just need to understand. It won't be long. Just give me time to put things in place and inform them, okay? Are you sure? I'm very sure. Please, my prince, it won't be long. Come on, cheer up. Put a smile on your face now. Mm? I will wait, okay? Oh, thanks, darling. <laughs> Look at you. Okay, so where do you want to go this evening? Yeah, you know the usual spot now. Because I want to go spoil you. Baby, you know the place to take me. Are you not tired of that I'm place? not tired. I want that place. <laughs> I can explain. I'm listening. <laughs> really? So you are this scared of Elina? Is Elina back? Don't worry. She returned up very late and went to bed early. <gasps> she asked of you, though. Mm -hmm. Right, told that you're already in bed. <sighs> I owe you a lot. You owe me plenty. And very soon you'll pay. Mm, fine, no problem. <laughs> Oh, you need to be careful next time. I was almost shaking. <laughs> Baby, mm -hmm. I have accepted your proposal, which means I want to marry you. But all I am asking is for you to give us just one year. I need to settle my sisters first. I need to make sure they are all right. Then we can get married. Okay. I'm not against you taking care of your sisters, okay? All I'm just asking is for me to take the full responsibilities for you. I want to be part of it. I want to take care of them for you. Together, we can do it, okay? But staying one year without you, it's a no-no for me. Baby, it's fine. I, I understand you. Honey, this one year we're talking about, by the time you know it, it will come and go. Please, baby, I promise you. 
I won't disappoint you. Please, baby. Please. So, when do you intend to introduce this your guy to me? What does he even look like? He's a model. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, trust me. If you see this guy, you would definitely fall. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Well, if he's handsome, then I'll definitely fall. <laughs> Aren't you shame You better not even try it, huh? Because he is mine and I don't intend to share. We are sisters. Mm -hmm. And we can share anything. Even if it's a little bite. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're not serious. Anyways, you'll meet him very soon. Very soon. And why are you even holding this guy? Like contraband. Remember, we are supposed to approve of this guy before you start dating. But you've already gone too far. Oh, Chelsea, you have nothing to worry about. Because he is everything a woman wants in a mm. man. And he equally loves me too. I hope so. He does. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Are you okay? Your sisters are not kids anymore. You've already started a business for Amanda and you've given Chelsea acting connections. What else do you want to do? Ofe, I want them to succeed first before I get married. And you think Kelvin will hang around that long? This is the kind of opportunity young girls are begging to get. And you, my friend, you are willing to mortgage your life even for, the, for your sisters. I hope they're worth the sacrifices. My sisters are worth every bit of it. They are God's blessing to me and I can do anything for them. Then get married first. You can still help them while you're married. You know, that's the point. I don't want any man that will be involved in the decision I make about my sisters. I want to sort this thing out first before I get married. Alina, when would you start using your brains? Very soon now, you say you want them to get married before you get married yourself. Even twins that share the same umbilical cords, they fight for their futures individually. Uh-huh. Well, I know you're worried about me. Eh? I'll be fine. Just, just give it time, you will understand. I don't want to hear or say I told you so. Girl, calm down now. Hmm? Everything is in peace. Who is he? The person I'm talking to knows herself. Who is he? Who are you talking about? Mm, come on, don't play dumb with me. Who is he? And why haven't you informed me about him? Um, actually, I... Sorry, sister. She didn't inform you because she didn't know how to inform you. Wow. So my sister has been seeing a man and... I have been kept in the dark. No, sis, look, I, I just met him. I still want to get to know him better before telling you about him. Yes, so, sister, because she knows you have a long list of questionnaires to administer to her. So that is why she didn't inform you. Sorry. No, I'm sorry it doesn't solve the question. Who is he? Um, hey, his name is Kay. Why am I even asking about him? Just bring him home. I want to talk to him. Huh? You heard me. Oh, uh, it says, can I ask for something? Okay. I just met this guy. I am not sure he's the right one yet. Can you give me a little time to get to know him better? Because if I invite him over and at the end of the day, he turns out not to be the right one. 
and then I start all over again to get another person. I don't want to go through all that. Just give me more time to get to know this person. And once I do, I will bring him over. Please. Fine. Until you're sure. No rough please. I promise. Good. No rough please. Better. Sister. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Sure. When do you plan on settling down? You are the eldest and time is no longer on your side. Next year. Mm? I'm getting married next year. Just like that? You're planning for your wedding next year without a groom? I won't be getting married to myself. Of course, there's a groom. No uh, way. Wait, dearest. Or <sighs> there will be. Um, I've been keeping this away from you girls. I guess it's time to tell you. Actually, there's someone. <laughs> no way. I have a fiancé. He has proposed to me and I said yes. But I told him to wait till next year for the wedding to take place. <laughs> wait, I, I, don't, I don't understand. You mean you have a man in your life? And we've been here for over a month and we haven't met him? Is he in this town? And why are you leaving your wedding till next year? Well, I asked him not to come here until I inform your girls about him. You know, getting married is forming another family. I want you girls to get settled first. My attention will be needed in my new home. And I don't want you girls struggling to get my attention. I just always want to be there for you. Sister, yeah. so you're pushing your wedding forward because of us. We are no longer kids. We can take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And besides, you've done so much for us. Mm -hmm. Chelsea is right, sis. Here, <laughs> you don't need to lose your marriage because of us. You should go ahead. Do it. We are your sisters and we will always support you. Are you sure? Yes, sister. But first, we need to meet this dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. We need to approve of him before any wedding plans. <laughs> so invite him for the weekend. I'm sure he's gonna like it. Are you girls sure? <laughs> sure. We are too sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, we missed it. <laughs> thank you, girls. Thank you. We love you. I love you, girls, so much. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You should have called me. Why is Chris Is the mind? food ready? Kelvin will soon be here. Amanda is still cooking. And you, why are you still cleaning? You girls are so lazy. I'll just drop my bag and be, join you in the kitchen. Okay. Welcome home, baby. <laughs> Come sit, sit, sit. Close the door. Lovely place. Thank you. It's so good. Okay. Let's go. Don't worry, our friends coming. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda, are you okay? Have you two met before? Uh, I mean, no, of course. It's just that, baby. Yes. I thought you were beautiful until I met your sisters. <laughs> you are beautiful. Uh, I see you're hitting on my sisters. No, 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 no. Far from it, okay? Uh, it's just that being on the same space with uh, God creations like this. <sighs> <laughs> Enough of this, okay? Enough of this. 
Uh, my name is Kelvin. Kelvin uh, Duke. I'm Chelsea. <laughs> My name is Kelvin. Kelvin Duke. Uh, excuse me. Baby, she, she's Amanda. Is she okay? Yeah, she's okay. Chelsea, set the table, okay? I'll need help. Tell Amanda to help you. She's not inside. <sighs> uh, baby, I think you really need to go and help her, okay? Uh, don't worry, I will be fine. Okay, let me just even use advantage to go around and check your house properly. Well, See how beautiful it is. Not bad. I would have loved to show you around, but... I... It's okay, it's okay, okay? I love to do things myself, and you know it. Are you let me sure? Go. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. Go, just go. Okay, darling. Mm. Love in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, What are you doing here? What right do you have to be here? <sighs> to think that I was happily telling my sisters about you. And unknown to me, you were planning a wedding with another woman. Not just any woman, but my own sister. How? You need to calm down. Can I explain? There is nothing to explain. There is nothing to listen to. You have lost that right for me to listen to you. Yes. I'm dating your sister. Yes. I wanted to marry your sister. Probably before I met you. My dear, after meeting you, I fell in love with you. You need to believe me. 
I love you more. Please, I beg of you. I want to settle down. And she said she's not ready. And I met you. I fell in love with you, Amanda. I cannot trade your love for anything. Your happiness, I cannot trade it for anything. Please, you need to understand. What does that, what does that mean? What does that mean is that I'm not going to marry her. Elena will not be my wife. You must really think that I'm a fool, right? I mean, how do you expect me to believe that? How? No. Your sister is a very nice person. And I'm sure you know that. I, I need to buckle up this to know how to present it to her. I don't want to break her heart. I want you to know that I love you very much. And I cannot trade your happiness for anything in this world. You need to know that. Please. How? What do you want me to do? Am I going to be sharing you with my own sister? Kelvin, that is my elder sister. And I love her so much and she loves me too. Tell me, how would she feel when she finds out that you are cheating on her with me? Tell me. Just tell everybody. Just tell her that we have been involved all this while. If that will make you happy, it just go. No! I, I, I can't. I can't break my sister's heart like that. So what's the plan? What's the plan? Because I can't imagine my life without you. I can't. Okay, okay, this is it. Look at me. Look at me, baby. You need to be strong for me. Don't worry. You need to be understanding now. Just leave everything to me. I will handle everything amicably. Okay? Promise me. Look at me. Just say yes. Say it. I need to run now, so that your system will not think otherwise, okay? I'll see you soon. doing a good job, okay? You're training your sisters very well. Because uh, this is good. I'm sure your parents, they'll be proud. Of course. <laughs> so tell us, Karen, what do you do for a living? <coughs> I am... He's a model. How did you know? Um, yeah, I thought you mentioned it when you told us about him. I did? Yes, you did. Just looking at him, he looks like a model. So anyone would predict his career just by looking at him. I was just raising a conversation by accent. <laughs> I see. I see you guys have been talking about me all this while. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be part of this family now, okay? Mm -hmm. And I wish and hope that any time I want to come to this place, I'm welcome here. Of course. <laughs> any time, hmm? any day. All right. But, but, but I think I need to feed you, baby. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, my baby is so sweet. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's an eventful evening for me. I enjoy every bit in your house. I've eaten so much, I've drunk so much. It's time to go. I need to go home now, okay? It's getting late. Home? Sister, you didn't tell him we were spending the weekend together. <laughs> Come on now, we just met him and we need more time to understand one another. You want him to spend the weekend here? Yes. I'm sure Amanda wants the same too, right? Yeah, I... Well, that's not exactly a bad idea. But I'm sure he already has plans for the weekend, so we shouldn't spoil that for him. Please spoil that for him. Come on. I'm sure he can make adjustments here and there for us. Oh, would that be too much to ask? I see my sisters like you already. So what do you say about the weekend? <laughs> okay. It's not a bad idea staying here. I've always wanted to come and spend time with them. Okay. It's not a bad idea. I've always wanted to come and spend time with them. So it's okay. <laughs> I do not think you should pressure him, Elena. I, I mean, men do not like to be pressured. And, you know, models, they do work more during the weekends. Yeah, Chelsea should know that, since she's into the entertainment. Why do we argue like the person in question is not even here? Okay, tell us, Kelvin. Would you rather go home to a boring, empty house or spend the whole weekend with these beauties? <laughs> Big one. <laughs> <laughs> a tough question to answer, but I will answer it. I would prefer to stay among these beautiful women for the weekend, okay? <laughs> Wise choice. You know what's up? You're my G. <laughs> Thank you so much, darling. It's I appreciate. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about change of clothes? How will he cope? <laughs> if I know smart models, they always have specs in their cars. Because <laughs> anything can happen at any time. <laughs> She's right. I always move around with a little box in my car. In case of emergencies like this, see, I don't need to drive home. Just pick one or two things from the car, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. You see, my knowledge as an entertainer has come in handy, so we are good. Yeah. <laughs> of course, this weekend is going to be filled with so much fun, right, Amanda? <laughs> okay, today is Friday. What's up, girls? Let's go clubbing. Who is in and who is out? I'm in. But no words. We should shake up some stress. You know, we worked all week. Amanda, please say something. Um, yeah, any, anything you decide, uh, I'm game. Why are you boring this evening? You're not the happening girl I used to know. Please, let's go now. Please. Anything you decide. Sister, please. Fine. Everyone dress up.
it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Take it easy. Mm. If you know you cannot handle alcohol, why then did you drink too much? Why did you drink too much? <laughs> this is not my fault. He caused it. Who? He did. Um, Kelvin, please take her to her room. She, she needs some rest. I'll quickly get her lemonade. She'll be fine. It's Go okay. Going to the club was a mistake. I'm disappointed in you. It's okay. She took so many alcohol, really? that's why. It's not my fault. And she was mixing, mixing, mixing. It's not Take my Take it easy. Fault. Hey, how is Amanda? Uh, she's fine. She should survive up soon. What are you doing? Oh, what does it look like I'm doing? Chelsea, we shouldn't be doing this. I'm your sister, fiance. <laughs> Which of them? Elena or Amanda? Amanda! Elena, of course. <laughs> Quit the game, Kelvin. I'm not a fool. I know everything. Everything. What do you know? And what are you talking about? You have eaten two forbidden fruits of this house, Kelvin. Or should I call you Kay? How did you know? No one needs to tell me anything. I heard everything you told Amanda in her room. What do you want? Hmm. You see why I call you my G? Because you always go straight to the point. And I expect you to do the same right now. Go straight to the point. What do you really want from me? All I want is a slice of this national cake. Look, things are a bit complicated right now. Please don't worsen it. I beg of you. Do I look like I care? I've always shared everything with my sisters. Now sharing a man wouldn't be a problem. Or would it? Josie, please. Please, I'm begging you. Ask for something else. Please. Look, I'm not a girl that misses words. I know what I want and I go for it. Meet me in my room in the next hour. Else, I would sing like a bird. And trust me, the melody would be so sweet that it would make you cry. Baby. Baby. 
Baby. Baby, you got me worried. Baby, you're home? Yes. I'm so sorry. I went to take some water. Come here. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. I need you to make me feel like a woman. <laughs> mm. I missed you so much. I missed you too. <laughs> Let's go in the bed, baby. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Here comes my brother-in-law to be. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're awake. Yes. I decided not to wake you up because you were so exhausted. Exhausted? What were you up to last night? <clears throat> I was taking care of my woman, of course. <laughs> really? I'm sure you did a good job. Because oh. my sister is glowing this morning. <laughs> A real man should know how to take care of his woman. Baby, huh? sit. Let me save you. <laughs> okay. Um, Amanda, <laughs> don't you think you should invite Kay over today? <coughs> 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 My sisters sure like you. Everyone wants to take care of you. <laughs> we don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dozy, you need to come and rescue me here. Last night, I feel like a prostitute that was on a promo. No. You're playing with fire. I know why I'm telling you, you're my friend. You are playing with fire. You have to make a choice. What do you want? Dose, I'm even confused. Because the three of them have their own advantages. And I, and I love all the advantages. Are you falling for the three of them? Including the blackmailer? I don't even know. Because if it's Elena, she's wife material. She's somebody that you will keep here, go to work, and come back and still meet her there. And to top it out, she's wealthy. She's accommodative. She's understanding. So, man. So, what of Amanda? Amanda is almost the same thing with Elena. Just that Amanda is a little bit more caring. And I won't lie to you. I like Amanda a little bit much more. She's loving, caring. She knows how to cook very well. And you know, she loves to kiss me. And you know I love kissing. Chelsea Nko. That one. That one with her pepe body. She's smart, intelligent, cunny. And she, her eyes is like a cobra. She goes for what she wants. And above all, I won't lie to you. She's very good in bed. Last night, she almost killed me. Mm -hmm. So what do you want? Just tell me. Uh, I'm even confused. Because I want everything the three of them have in terms of advantages. Elena is somebody I will marry. And Amanda is somebody I would like to be going out with. And... Chelsea, you know now, for the night. You <laughs> Is it too much to ask? Wait, wait. Let me arrange it for you. Elena, for the business. Huh? Then Amanda, for the kitchen. Then Chelsea, for the bed. How is it? If you say so. Exactly. Yes. Perfect picture, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm seeing your 
you see you as I see you now, they see your burial. And they see the perfect picture of your burial. That's what I have to, in fact, I have to start planning for your burial. What kind of casket do you want? Gold, okay, color, which color do you want? Because which kind of talking? No, I'm stuff? serious, because you're playing with fire. I know what I'm telling you. So, what's your take on him? Who? You know who? K. K. Oh, I. I meant Kelvin, right? Yes. What do you think about him? Um, he's. He's not exactly a bad guy. Bored. I don't think he's the right person for Elena. Why is that? I can't really place my hands on it, but... Something like what? Can we not talk about this? I don't like him, that's all. I see. So, you don't like him as a person? Or you don't like him for Elena? Isn't it the same thing? Actually, is not. Well, I can't put it in words. Okay. You know, men like you are the reason they say men are scorned. Bro, you're blessed with a beautiful woman. Why not just settle down with her? What are you looking for? Hold on. Why are you blaming me about this issue? Why are you trying to put everything on me? Is it my fault that God created beautiful women and put them in my presence? Bro, every human being has targets to meet on earth. Do you know maybe one of my own targets is to make sure that I settle those women? You think you're catching crews, eh? You think you're catching crews, your plane is sweeting you. What you don't know, sweet things kills easily, very, very fast. Go see. No problem. If this one won't kill me, no wahala. I won't die on top of them, no problem. You know, Geshe, this is what we call comfortable death. Yes! I want to die comfortably on top of them, no problem. Ah, you know, get shame at all. Good thing. My problem with you is you are too soft. And it drives me crazy. That's the reason why all these small, small chingum girls in this city eat your money easily. You have sympathy so much. They don't sympathize for women. If you don't know, I will sit you down one of these days and teach you, give you a lesson on how to deal with women. You will chop and chop their money also. You need to know that and you need to learn it. They don't like soft boys though. See me now. See cars. I have two cars. Women and then bam. Oh, play game, I beg. Please, your turn. Play, 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 play. Oh, play game now. You have no slept. What? What is this? What? If your sister catches you, what will you tell her? Come on, they are my sisters. If they catch me, they'll get mad, scold me, but they'll forgive me. How about you? So make sure we don't get caught. <laughs> look, 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 I need to go now, okay? What do you really want? Come on. Unlike my foolish sisters, all I want is the forbidden fruit. So as long as you keep giving it to me, my lips are sealed. <laughs> okay, 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 look, I really need to go now, okay? We'll find a solution to this, okay? okay. All right, stop.
Baby, you're not sleeping. Baby, I've been waiting for you. Where did you go? Uh, I've been hanging out with friends, okay? It's fine. I'm ready. Okay. Tell me, what are you ready for? I'm ready for the wedding plans. Let's get married. <laughs> uh, but, but I thought you said you want to make sure your sister settled before you get married. What changed? Honey, I know I said that, but they've given me the permission to get married. So, and you guys get along. So, let's get married. <laughs> I'm so excited to do this with you, baby. <laughs> I know. But you know, this weekend has been really mad. And I'm not liking it. What is the problem? Tell me. Are you really asking me that? I can share you with anyone, not Elena. I don't like the way you kiss her, the way you touch her. Look, I do not want you to get close to her. But you... No, no but. No but. Look, I can't handle this. My blood is boiling. Can't you see? I can't share. I just can't. My dear, nobody is saying you're sharing. You're mine forever. And I'm yours forever. You need to calm down and allow me to handle this amicably. I assure you we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. Okay, from now on, no intimate. I won't go close to her again. I won't kiss her again. I will run away from her a little bit because of you. Okay? Promise. I promise. I need to run now, okay? Come. No, come. you're leaving again. Mm. I'll see you. Let's go. Want to see me through? All right. Okay. Welcome, darling. This one you didn't go to work. What happened? I'm not feeling too well. I decided to rest today. At least you've had something to eat or yeah. gotten some medications. Yes, I've had my medication. I hope my sisters had something. They left without having breakfast. Your sisters are not kids, and I'm sure by now they've had something to eat. Maybe your food too. How well do you trust your sisters? <laughs> Mofa, are you okay? It's like asking me if I forget to breathe. Of course I trust them. What of Kelvin? I trust Kelvin more than I trust myself. Why are you asking? Oh, nothing really. Just that life can be strange and people can change too. <laughs> Not you. 
No, my sister is not even Kelvin. I have the best. What are you saying? Come on, girl, let me get you something to drink. <laughs> I know you're yeah, usual stuff now. Alina. <laughs> You see this game you're playing? You have to stop it. I'm telling you now, because this thing will come back to you. And even God in heaven will not forgive you for coming against three sisters. What are you talking about, Dozy? They all came for me. I did no. not go for them. And I'm catching crews. Is that a crime? You're catching crews. Bro, you see those sisters? Those sisters are too nice. They are too nice for this kind of game you're playing. I'm telling you, just pick one and settle down with that one. I mean, tell me which one you want me to pick. I want you to know, tell me which one or what issue I should pick. I cannot pick anyone. All of them loves me and I love them too and I want to use them to cash out. You should know this thing now. Uh -uh. Even God said, if it's your time, use it properly and I want to use my own very well. Bro, let me tell you. You see, when something becomes too sweet, you have to be very careful about it. I'm telling you. When I'm catching fun, enjoying my life, among three of them, the only person I'm even afraid of is that last one, the half pepper body. That one, that one, we get people. What is going on, Kelvin? Mofe, how are you? What's going on like what? I thought you love my friend Elena and you want to marry her. Of course. Elena is my wife to be. She's the one I was telling you about, the lady I want to get married to. Then what are you doing with her sister, Amanda? Amanda? How? I saw you and Amanda kissing earlier today in her boutique. Mofe, you know I'm a big boy in this town. What young boys who are coming up wants to be like me, wants to look like me? I'm sure it's somebody that you think I'm the one that wants to look like me that is doing all that. I, I can never Deny do that. it all you want, but I'm just here to warn you. Elena is my friend and she means the word to me. If you hurt Elena, you hurt me. And when people hurt me, I don't forgive easily. By the way, the next time I see you and Amanda, Consider yourselves breaking news. Uh, what are you saying? Dozidi, what is she talking about? Doze. Doze, you left me there. You left me there when that girl was insulting me. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? She has said it all. Oh, she has said it all? Yes. You were standing there when the, she was accusing me wrongly. You know me very well. You're my childhood friend. You know what I can do and what I cannot do. It's not of you to defend me. Oh, now you want me to defend you. You want me to defend you. Let me tell you, Kelvin. If what Mofet told you there will make you have brains, I swear, I will ask her to say it again and again. You think Mofet is Elena? She knows you're having something to do with Amanda. Bro, she will never keep quiet for so long. I know why I'm telling you this. You're my friend. And I will not lie to you. I can only advise you, but you will do what you have in your own mind. Bro, I know go fit carry your own matter. Pass my own matter while I carry for my head, though. If he said, you see you, eh? You go chop that breakfast. Last, last. You go chop that breakfast where you define. Where you go? You don't want to carry me. Uh, I want chop breakfast, Abi. Enter the motor now. You go trek today. You late breakfast. Now lunch. What is it? My wedding invitation is finally out! <laughs> Amanda! Are you okay? No. No, you can't marry him. Not Kelvin. No. I won't let that happen. Never! Amanda. You won't marry him! You can't! No. No! He can't. He can't marry her. He can't. Not her. He, can't. he can't marry her. He's mine. He's mine. He can't get married to her. No. No, he can't get married to her. No, no, no. No, he can't get married to her. No. He can't get married to her. He can't. He can't get, get, get married to her. It's me! <laughs> I can't get married to her. It's 
fine. It's fine. Just fine. Oh. <laughs> Josie, what was that? What? Don't play dumb with me. I, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I'm sure you know, so you better start talking. I have no idea. I'm as shocked as you are. Maybe you should call her and ask her. Because right now I don't know what is going on in her head. What is the matter with you, dear? I have never seen you like this. Ananda, speak to us. We are your sisters. What's the problem? I'm sorry for that outburst. Just that it dawned on me that you'll be getting married. And you're getting married to someone else. And we as your sisters would... will be separated. You know, I... I dread for this day and it's... It's fast approaching. I, I couldn't contend it anymore. I'm sorry. You don't want me to get married? Uh, yes. No, you want you to get married. Don't worry, Amanda is just being too emotional. Because she knows that we'll miss you. But once the wedding preparation starts, I'm sure she will adjust, right? Hey baby, don't worry. You'll be fine. We all will be fine. Yeah. I'm glad I'm getting married to Kelvin. He loves you girls. I'm sure we can work something out so that we can still be together. I love you girls so much. And you know I can't do without you. I will always be there for my sisters. It's okay, darling. Mm? Cheryl. Mm -hmm. I love you, it's baby. Okay, stop crying. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Honey punch, my sugar crush. I miss you. Oh, <laughs> you want to come right now, honey? I can't wait. <laughs> You're joking, right? Oh, I need your touch right now. You know, no man can ever touch me the way you do. Your touch is oh my god. I don't know how to explain it. It's, you know, no one does it better. He's so good at it. Who taught you that? Who? Are you? Who? <laughs> oh, my love. I can't wait to be with you forever. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Everything is in place. We're gradually waiting for the date. <laughs> and we have been receiving a lot of favors too. <laughs> and babe, you know the sweetest part. I am getting married to the man of my dreams. He loves me and I love him too. <laughs> babe, pass me the towel, pass me the towel. Pass me the towel, yeah. <laughs> Yes, babe, I can't wait. Like, I'm so happy. I'm super excited to do this with him. Are you, are you serious? You'll be coming with him? <laughs> babe, this wedding is going to be huge. Trust me. Trust me. And you know the color for the Ashebi now? No, don't tell me you've forgotten. Are you serious? <laughs> but babe, I hope you still remember the dance step. Babe, why did they forget things like this now? Why are you like this? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you know the color of the day now. Uh, no, 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 tell me you've forgotten. I'm not going to tell you again. <laughs> are you serious? You know how we used to do it back then? 
<laughs> Babe, you have no idea. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm the happiest girl on earth right now. Hello? We need to see now. <laughs> Sister. Yeah? What do you think of Amanda of recent? Do you see the changes that I see? Mm. Yeah, I've noticed that. She's been more withdrawn, goes out often, and hardly sits with us. But what could be wrong? Do you think there is a problem? Or is it just mood swing? I don't know. I think it's because of my marriage. She's trying to detach herself so that it doesn't become too hard for her when I finally get married. Exactly, right? I think that's the reason. What are you saying? You heard me. We need to let Alina know about us. I thought you said you don't want her to know so that she won't have an attack. Look, look, at this point, I don't care. I don't care whether she, she dies or not. I just want to make her relationship public so she can back off. I already told you that I cannot share. Uh, look, Elena might commit suicide if she gets to know that we're involved. Well, if you do not tell Elena about us, you will be the one risking her life. Meaning? What I mean is that if you go ahead with your wedding plans with Elena, I will kill her. Uh, but Elena is her sister. That is the point. That is driving me crazy about those girls. How will you want to kill your own blood sister because of a man and money? Someone who literally made you who you are today. I, I've never seen this kind of thing in my life. You want to kill your own blood sister? This life no balance. Oh. I swear to God, that Elena is, she's too nice to, to have those devils as sisters. I swear. Now you see the clear picture. You see what I'm telling you? Bro, run now that you can. I know why I'm telling you this. Because if that girl can kill her own sister because of a man, ha. Huh, I don't want to leave that place empty-handed. I need to get something tangible from that relationship. You see that tangible thing? Now go kill you. That tangible you're looking for, now go kill you. Hey, hey Dozie. <laughs> Where Hi. have you been? Yeah, I'm good. You hardly um, come around. Uh, you know my work now. It doesn't give me that chance to start coming out. It's only at night. I know, I understand. <laughs> Life of a hustler. I'm not trying to make this money to be like people like you now. Which money? Eh? My brother, we are managing. Manage like this. Stop. <laughs> Let me just manage like you now. Eh? <laughs> See, Elena, you know you are a nice person and you deserve the best. Mm. Uh, well, you're just telling me. No, I'm serious. See, what I'm about to say, I'm not supposed to tell you, but. Johnny Tuna will say, just be careful of people you have around you that call themselves friends and family. Pay attention to yourself. More. Okay, so why are you telling me this? Because people you carry as bag of rice, they hold you as a pinch of salt. I'm serious. I'll see you. Take care of yourself, eh? Elena has so much money that she is willing to give out. So the best thing for us to do is to kill her, take everything and leave the country. Must we kill her? Yes. Because that is the only way we can live freely for the rest of our lives. Look, I am not ready to run while I look over my shoulders. I'm not ready to do that. But she is your sister. 
Yes, I know she's my sister. I love her. But right now, I love two things more. And that is you and money. So let's grab everything we can and leave. Yes. What about Chelsea? The brat will be fine, okay? She's always a smart girl, so you don't need to bother about her. Elena needs to die. I agree. But we need time. We need time to work on it. To sort things out. Oh! Never you in your life! Say something this evening about my sister again. How dare you want to cause a rift between us? Amanda is sleeping with Kelvin and they want to kill me? Are you serious? I thought you were my friend. You're nothing but a green snake in a green grass. Elena, I will forgive this just because you're my friend. But I won't let anybody hurt you. Not your sisters and definitely not your fiancé. Looks like I'll have to save you even from yourself. Imagine. How did I let this happen? This is not right. But this time I will not take it out. We have all been playing this game. And I have stood at the disadvantage end for too long. Now, I too want to get something. There is nothing wrong in keeping Kelvin for myself. <laughs> Elena's life is in danger. And we need to save her from Amanda and Kelvin. She has so much trust for those two, and that is the problem. Wait. You had this plan with your own ears? Of course I did. So what is Elena saying about it? Elena slapped me. Elena insulted me. She even insinuated that I'm trying to create a rift between her and her loved ones. Mm. Mm. Well, no harm will come to Elena. Not while I'm still here. I hope so. I really do hope so. Don't worry. She can't get hurt. You're not a child. How dare you keep pregnancy? I thought you know how to take care of yourself. If you keep this pregnancy, you're going to take full responsibility of it. Because I am not going to take responsibility for it. <laughs> it looks like you're forgetting something. What do you think Elena or Amanda would do if they find out I am pregnant with your child? That is your own business for you to deal with. Oh, just shut up! Just shut up! I can claim that you read to your parents on type of story. They are my sisters, they will believe me. You, what would you tell them? Mm -hmm. Look, let me tell you something. You see this child? I am keeping this pregnancy. And you will do the needful. Okay. Do you hear me? Okay. I will definitely do the needful. By going out there to tell everybody what transpired between me and you. Between all of us. Because it's like you guys want to drive me mad. Oh, really? Including telling Elena? Your plans with Amanda to eliminate her without also playing, huh? How did you get to know about this? <laughs> the world have ears, my bear. And I've decided to take my own pound of flesh. You and Amanda wants to eliminate Elena and take everything that she has, right? Once you've succeeded in killing her, you also have to eliminate Amanda. Yes. And then you and I would leave this country with our unborn child. What is wrong with you girls? What is happening here? You guys want to drive me mad. Do you guys think that killing human beings is like killing animal? You want to, why all of you want to kill each other's sisters? Look, we have all messed up. And we need to clean it up, okay? 
you think Amanda will be happy or hug me when she finds out I've slept with you? Or do you think Elena will pat me on the back when she finds out that I'm carrying your child? See, guy, everything don't cast, okay? So let's grab whatever thing we need to grab and leave. No time, please. What are you saying? Look, you just need to calm down, okay? I'm going to keep my mouth shut about the pregnancy. But you have to do as I say. Help Amanda eliminate Elena, and then you eliminate Amanda. And then we can leave this country together with our child, okay? Sis, it's just, sis, just here, right here, here. Sis, this document, oh, sis, this document are very important. That's why you need to sign it. It's very, very important. Here, just sign. Oh, sis, please now, just get up, get up, get up, please. I, I know you're tired, but just you need to sign this document. Eh? You really need to sign it. Sorry, eh? Just. Here. Oh, sis. No, sis, that's not the. Here, 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 here. Not there. Here, this side. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so 
happy. I am more than excited. We did it. Finally. We did it. Finally. <laughs> but I'm not. Chelsea? I, I, th I thought... You thought what? Forget about what you thought. What matters is that I am here. And I brought you all a gift. What? Mm -hmm. You knew all along? Of course I did. And Kelvin here has been a good boy. Meaning? Look, Chelsea, look, we, we got a lot from Elena. We can share. Really? Yes. Share? So uh -huh. all of a sudden you want to share. Your initial plan was to run away with Calvin and everything. So now you want to share? Aren't you so generous? Huh? Chelsea, all I wanted was to live with my man. <laughs> so let's just leave things and go. And why would I want to do that? Why would I want to let you run away with my man? The father of my unborn child. Yes. Wait. What did you just say? Just like you and the Lina. Kevin here have been servicing me too. And that act of his is growing within me. What's she saying? What's she saying? Because I don't understand. Don't tell me you and Chelsea betrayed me. Unfortunately, they did. <gasps> you? It's me. Elena. Flesh and blood. Oh, are you disappointed? Are you shocked to see you can't kill me that easily? I watched them kill and dispose of your body. How come? That's the difference between you and I, darling. I am not a soft meat to chew. Messi said no. How... How did you survive? <laughs> I can see you all are eager to know how your plans failed. Let me school you. Amanda! Amanda, where did this girl go leaving this place messed up? <laughs> so much for a big girl. Listen, Kelvin. No. Look, I thought you were a man. That was why I fell for you in the first place. Look, if you cannot get this job done, then I will get someone else to do it. You know that killing Elena is a top secret. Yes, that is why I want us to execute it ourselves. The way you're sounding, you're making me feel like you've already fallen for my sister. Then get the plan done. Get it done. So that I can get the papers ready and then we'll swing into action. Look, there is no more time, okay? I'm sorry, Elena. I love you, but I love Kelvin more.
was shocked to my bones. I could not believe that my sister, Amanda, wants me dead. Realization dawned on me. I quickly called Mofe. I needed to talk to someone before I run mad. I told you these things before, but you didn't believe me. I hope your eyes have opened to behold the evil you've been training. I need to find out more. I need to know what is happening in my house. I need to know more. Then plant a camera in your house. That's the only way you can be updated about everything. Um, everything has been stored. Okay. I will collect it to your phone and laptop so that you can watch it anywhere you are. Okay. Um, babe, help me get my phone, please. Yes. I'll get my okay. laptop immediately. Okay, okay. I knew at that moment, putting a spy camera in the house will make me find out how dark my sister's heart is. I wished I was proved wrong. But I could not believe my eyes. What I saw that night shattered me. I see you just dropped my sister off without even checking on the mother of your child. What did she just say? I hope you do not have passed up the person. Because I'm going to use this pregnancy to destroy your life and your career. Kelvin, do not mess with me. <sighs> Another shocker hits me. Pregnancy? I thought it was just Amanda. But Chelsea? I have been a fool. Again, I called Mofe. She seems to be the only one I have. They are my sisters. The people I lived for. The ones I practically did for and this is how they pay me back I thought it was just Amanda Chelsea's in on it too <laughs> Calvin is indeed a hopeless bastard a big one a very big bastard I don't expect much from strangers but my sisters my sisters me, my blood sisters. I, I, I am going crazy. Oh, oh. Alina, stop. stop it. Just stop it. You, you can't let these people drive you crazy, okay? And they came tonight. The night of the big plan. I saw you, Amanda. You drugged my juice. <laughs> I decided to play along to see the extent you would go.
And it's shocking to see how you all were playing each other. Everyone was greedy about my property to the point you were ready to stab each other at the back. Why? You know, I have been asking myself this question. But no matter how I look at it, it, it just doesn't add up. Amanda, why do you want to kill me because of a man? A man that is sleeping with three of us? A man without shame or loyalty? So you changed the document? Yes. The document I signed has his name on it. He was planning to take everything. Maybe kill you both and leave. Kelvin, you wanted to kill me too? What do you expect me to do? Tell me! What did you expect me to do? To watch all of you destroy my life? Huh? Tell me! To watch you people destroy my life? I have a future, and a future I must get, okay? And you claimed you loved me. <sighs> you claimed you loved me, Kelvin? Love you. Must be a madman to love human being like you. You, after watching you, to want to kill your own blood sister, someone that did everything to make you a better person. That means killing me will be thinking of an eye for you. I know, I know what we did was wrong, but speak for yourself. Because I am not ashamed of what I did. Yes. I know I went too far. But I was tired. I was tired of everything! I have never gotten anything for myself without your help. Anything I wanted, I had to run to you, Eliza. <laughs> Kelvin is the only man that I got by myself. All men that wanted to come into my life had to take permission from you. And even Kelvin resorted to be a mistake. And once again, you won. Amanda, you were my sister. I want the best for you. It is in my place to provide for you. That is the problem. I do not want that. I do not want that. You always treat us like charity cases. I was tired. I was tired of living under your shadow. I wanted my freedom. I wanted to be free. And the only way that could have happened was to get you killed. And that was why I attempted to do it. But the fool I sent couldn't do a simple task. I placed my life on hold for my sisters. I worked day and night. I toyed like a man just to take care of both of you. Oh, for what? To be betrayed like this? Amanda, you should have told me you wanted Kelvin. I would have given you to him on a platter of gold. And then I would know that the only problem is knowing that he would break your heart and then me trying to save you from him. Exactly my problem. You do not have to try to save me. No, I don't need it. Yes. Allow me to make my decision and face the consequences and accept whatever comes with it. I am old enough to fly and fail. You are Lisa. You were always there. Your shadow was always there. You're not a bad person. And you meant well. <laughs> but I guess we are not in the same wavelength. Killing me was all you could think of. 
Indeed, it is said that no matter how much you bathe a pig, it will always fall back to the mud. I thought living with us and, and growing up with us, you would learn to accept us as one. But little did I know that a child picked up from a gutter will always smell. What are you talking about? You were picked up by their parents who took you in as theirs and raised you with them. But the blood that flows in your veins wouldn't let you be as good as Elena. Amanda, you destroyed everything and you won't go free. You will pay for everything. You are not even an Owona. At least that betrayer can be understood. What about yours? You need to forgive and forget. You are the matured one here. So let go and move on. Kelvin, this is not the Elena you used to know. The one standing right in front of you has learnt the hard way. What are you talking about? If you did not fear the hair on my head before biting me on the head, I will not fear the excrement on your bootles before biting you. Officers! Officers! You Arrest them! Evil what are you doing? Do your job! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Sister, please! Sister, please! Sacrifices will not be in vain. You won't just go like that. But let's look at the brighter side. If all these things didn't happen, you would have ended up marrying that useless gold digger, Kelvin. I know it hurts. I, I can't even tell how much you're hurting right now. But you are the strongest woman I know. So you have to brace yourself, girl. <laughs> And I know you can do it,
reaction. How long will you be gone? Mofe, I need time to heal. I'll be back when I'm ready. Please. I need you to keep an eye on them in prison. Tell me if there's need to step in. You mean till today, you still care about them? <sighs> Old habits die hard. Truly blood is thicker than water. Oh, I really miss you. I'll miss you too, I really dear. Miss you. Thank you so much yeah. for everything. No problem. Ow.